Before we continue, there's one thing we need to add and a couple things we need to change. First, before we um, create our listeners, type in sql.open. Make sure we open our database. userdb.sdf. And now head over to packet.io and go to write object and change the rename it to write t. And go down to the packet reader and rename this. Oh, actually, that's fine. Just change this to write t. Okay, now that we have that out the way, let's add a new project. And it'll be a class library. And name it, let's just name it log6. And we can delete this class. Now I pre I have pre-written some a um, couple of forms for logging in and registering. Just go ahead and download those and just copy all three files or all six files into the project. And if it doesn't load, just click on them and they should register. Uh, oops. Add reference system.windows.forms. And also system.drawing. And now the forms have registered. So, first things first, we need a couple of things from here. So just copy and paste the headers, and also copy and paste our packet IO. Now make a new class, and we will call this server info. Make it an internal class in public constant string server equals localhost. Now this would be your actual IP address or your um, DNS redirect, etc., etc. Right now we'll just be using our local PC. Public constant int port equals one two three four. Make sure it's the same as your server. And now make a new class, and we will call this our login client. Make it an internal class. Now just above this, first let's include what we need for system.net and using system.net.sockets. Now we're going to create a new delegate which we will use as a callback instead of using events. So internal delegate void process complete del headers header and error codes error code. Now we'll also make a structure internal struct login args public string username public string password public headers header and public process complete del callback now we'll make our constructor just for everything we have and set everything alright now the reason why we created login args is because we will be using the thread pool which can take an argument which can take one argument which is an object and we'll just have everything in our structure so we don't have to do some advanced stuff to 
or make a bunch of different variables to um, know what our information is. Everything will just be in this structure. Now let's head into login client and let's make one variable private byte buffer equals new byte 512 bytes. That should be good enough. Public login client. Now public void login string username string password and process complete del callback public void register string username string password process complete del callback private void process object O. This is the method that will be multi-threaded. And the thread pool uses a wait callback, which is void with an object as a parameter. Now let's head back up to login. And login args args equals new login args headers.login username, password, and our callback. And now we will call thread pool dot q user work item. New wait callback process. And our state will be our login org structure. Now register, it's going to be the same thing except one thing will be changed. Just change this to register. Now going down to process. Login args args equals cast to login args o. Now we're grabbing the um, structure that we passed as an object, and let's add a try catch finally. Now let's create our socket. And now let's connect server info dot server and server info dot port. And when the connection is successful, we'll uh, create an instance of our packet writer. And as you've seen before, we will write our header. And our username and password. And we will grab our complete packet. Now we'll send our data. And we'll set our receive timeout to let's make it eight seconds. And now we'll receive our data using the buffer. And we will just go ahead and read the data from it. So let's create our packet reader and headers, header equals cast two headers pr dot read u int sixteen error codes error equals cast to error codes pr dot read u int sixteen and we will now call our callback with our header and our error code that we received from the server. Now, if something goes wrong, then we'll just use, we'll, call, we'll still call the callback, and we will use our header that we have in our structure, and we'll just have the error code of error. And finally, we close and dispose the socket. Okay, now that that's good, Let's head over to our login form.
just view the code. Now,